So in our definition of cellular respiration, I want to point out again that this term glucose here refers to those energy storage molecules. If you recall from chapter one, we looked at a couple of different kinds of energy storage molecules, as that's a general term for some things that are a little bit more specific, um, that glucose is one type of energy storage molecule. Um, so in your definition, you might, if you're confused, want to circle that word glucose um, and underneath it write energy storage molecule or ESM for short, if you don't want to write it all out, to remind yourself what that glucose term really is referring to. So this cellular respiration process is a second type of chemical reaction in this unit that we've discovered occurs within cells. Photosynthesis was that first type. And in chapter one, when we were looking at photosynthesis, we realized that the amount of sunlight really can determine along with the amount of um, carbon dioxide available and the amount of water available can really determine how much energy storage molecules are produced from that process of photosynthesis. So I'm wondering right now if sunlight matters in cellular respiration the same way that it matters in photosynthesis. So let's check that out again in the sim. So I'm gonna pause, ask you to pause the video here again in a minute um, and use the sim to once again observe cellular respiration, but this time really paying particular attention again to making sure we know which parts of the ecosystem do this process and what is sort of the limiting factors of the process. Is sunlight and is the amount of sunlight affecting how these parts of an ecosystem produce cellular respiration? Because again, I know that the amount of sunlight mattered when it came to photosynthesis. So I'm, I'm curious if it matters the same way here in cellular respiration. So if you have access to the sim, pause the video, explore and answer these questions. Otherwise, again, follow along with me. And I still have my, my sim up and running from earlier. I didn't, I didn't change anything. So the first thing I'm gonna double check is to make sure that I, I am getting all of my components of the, of the ecosystem that produce uh, carbon dioxide through cellular respiration. I wanna make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. And I'm gonna double check that right now by looking for the mitochondria because I just determined that the function of a mitochondria earlier is, is this uh, process of cellular respiration producing um, carbon dioxide, just like the function of a chloroplast was to um, produce this function of photosynthesis and um, expel or put out their energy storage molecules, okay? So I'm, I'm just gonna double check here. So producers, if you sell, mitochondrion, check. Does cellular respiration. Consumer, if you sell, mitochondrion, check. Does cellular respiration. Secondary consumers, if you sell, mitochondrion, check. Do cellular respiration. Decomposers, if you sell, so mitochondrion. So once again, yep, check. Decomposers, do cellular respiration. I don't have any other options to view cells. Like I can't down here view cells of dead matter or anything like that. So for the information that I have, yep, these things are um, the ones who have mitochondrion and therefore are the ones conducting this chemical reaction of cellular respiration. So I, I've answered that first question. Again, how I know that is that the cells of these four things all contain mitochondrion. 